guys. Part two. Are we chilling? Salud, salud. So, Rachel La Loca, we have you here, man. She is. We appreciate you coming over here, hanging out with us. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a question that we had because um, I think, like we mentioned earlier, we had Tommy over here. He was speaking so highly of you. Shout and out that's to Tommy 5K. For real. Yeah. He's doing his music thing, too, on the side. Super talented. Multi-dimensional performer. Mm -hmm. Facts, man. So he introduced you to us. And um, so I just want to know, how did that bond start with you guys? Mm -hmm. How did you get into the Factoria? Like, how, how did that work? Um, Tommy has always been killing it on Instagram, on the socials. He's so genuinely funny. I fell in love with him with El Goldie. Remember yeah. when he was Dominican the Dominican.com. Yeah. Dominican.com. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Dominican.com. He had the Jerry curl. Yo, come on, <laughs> yeah. man. That was hilarious. Hey, so funny. So then I was doing a video for the Latin Mix Conference. Here we go. Back to long winded. Um, <laughs> oh, I was doing a. <laughs> I was doing. I got hired by my friend Pills. Shout out to Pills who's the creator of the Latin Mix Conference, the only Latino DJ awards conference that recognizes Latino DJs across the country. Quick PSA. Because what he does is mobilizes Latino DJs, and you know we killing it in that space. Mm, always. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. been. You know? So he commissioned me to put together a comedy video for his awards show. By the way, this is a fun fact. Oh. The DJs that were present at that award show at stage 48 on the west side of Manhattan, I was the British voice who was introducing Get all the of the award of nominees nominated for best international DJ. DJ that's, that's a fucking awesome accent right there. I did it live from the DJ booth. Yeah, so he man. hired me to do the comedy <laughs> video that that right on the thing. And he was like, yo, just hide in the DJ booth. And I'm like, okay. Nominated for best <laughs> award for you know, uh, <laughs> down there. Yeah, I was like, just hilarious. keep bringing me Presidente Lights and we can keep this rocking. <laughs> best club DJ goes to DJ Camillo. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yo, we need him for a skit. Yo, we need him for a skit. Any time, any place. Any time, any place. No, what's your no, Where's no. your mind state when you get into like a zone like that though? Like to get into like a certain like kind of like <laughs> personality to say, you know, not even a character, just say a personality. That's a personality. I think I gotta that you channel like, yourself into. I gotta like figure out who that person is mm. and then just hone in. She could be my tia Cookie, who talks very, you know, like she talks really fast, or it could be some like Mary Poppins. That's who I was channeling for that shit. Like, just to spoon. But there's for always an inspiration you behind know? it, right? There's always an inspiration behind yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's how I operate. Either it's a like conjured up or something I fabricated myself, like. You know, Gumby meets this, or like, you know, Gumby. whatever. <laughs> like. up, I, I used to say, I used to, I used to slot up in it like Gumby. Uh. Wow. But, but let's get back. But so, how did. <laughs> well, well, but you, well, I feel like you're getting to. That's all I have to say. That was a rhyme, though. That was a rhyme. I used to be like, I, I said that oh, in a rhyme. Man. I said, I, used to, I slide up in it like Gumby. You know I know didn't mean? know Gumby slides up in it like that. Yo, yeah, he Gumby's, slides everywhere. He slides, oh, he slides you get it? everywhere. You get Got it? it. I slide up. In, I'm smooth like that. I slide up and then like go. The whole yeah. lyric means something so different. <laughs> but now. back to what we were talking about. How so? So bring the correlation between you and Tommy. Like so, how does that oh, bring it to Tommy? That's right. Thank you. You're really good at this. Oh, I got you. Um, <laughs> he's a podcast Nazi. He's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Like he my people having hard ha Nazi? Come they on. don't like no, no, order. They don't like order. You. Like the soup. They don't Nazi. like order. We don't like this. <laughs> like the soup Nazi. Remember sign from? Oh yeah, that was no bread for you. Yeah, no soup for you. Like, yo, no question for no you. No bread for you. <laughs> <laughs> I joke. I joke. Okay. Um, so, I was hired to do the comedy video for Latin Mix. This was like 20... It was before kids. So it was like 2014. I don't know, 2015, something like that. 
And he was like, we want Tommy 5K. We want all these influencers. Jarciel. Shout out to Jarciel. Mm. Oh, yeah. Jill. And Lupi was in it. Lupi? Lupi. He moved to Florida. He on some other These shit. people were yeah, in my... Right? Don't like do you Lucas. understand? I had these people in my apartment. I can't believe I had them in my apartment without knowing them. Anyway, but I trusted Pills. The <laughs> Pills was like, don't worry. You know, I was like, all right. If anything fucking breaks, I swear to Christ, you're going to pay double. Because, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, they were good. So Tommy 5K was in it, Lupi and, and Jarciel. And we filmed it part in my apartment, part outside. And it was for a series he did called Hot in el Bloque. So it aired at the conference, and then he put it on his YouTube. It's still out there if you want to see a throwback. Um, well, so going, Tommy and I... We're going back. Yeah, and we're going to look it up. Well, and then I just started, like, you know, hosting stuff, and I would see Tommy. He started getting on the stand-up circuit. I would support that. I would go to his shows. I'd be the one throwing roses at the stage. Ooh. <laughs> Romantic. And then, well, it's just this in theater. You know, you're like, uncle, <laughs> uncle, bravo. You know, and then, <laughs> then we he called me and Ivan. Shout out. To, oh, and I've been on their show. Section Eight is balling. Shout out mm, to Brenda, fire. the whole crew was out in the Bronx. We've used their studio to shoot Room 28 promo videos. They have a dope ass studio in the Bronx. And then um, we've been just casting stuff together. So the relationship has always been like, you know, oh shit, you're here, give me a hug. And then La Factoria. He was like, I want you to be the head of the Long Island. I cannot say this word. I've been practicing so hard. Corporativa. Sur no, surcursal. Oh, oh la, surcursal. La surcursal. You got surcursal. it. You got it. <laughs> surcursal. You got it. I'm the head of the Long Island surcursal. Division? Is that <laughs> what that is? Incorporativa. Huh? Is, is that word? Is that division? That's For the. That's if, there's, so there's many surcursals. And there's Long Island and then the five boroughs. And so we're like competitive AF. Mm. So Wait. he wrote. He, and and it's so great that he reached out to us, Room 28, and to me, I was out there. I met some of my dear friends today. Mr. Nueva York was on set. Black Which Rose my man was on right set. There. Your boy. Yeah. That's where I met him. That's where I met Black Rose. Um, you know what was my favorite line that you said in that first episode? What? Chagall. The way you said Chagall, es reporte. <laughs> but I don't know. It's Reporte. 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 Yeah. The way you like said Puerto it. Rican, it right? comes from the back of the throat. That little hangy ball thing yeah. is a reporte. That line right there was the way you the way you the way you laid it out. Scene. Yeah, yeah, that was fire. The way they shot that was really great. It was really that like the office, but for us, right? And I we love the intro. Shows like that. And yo, like I said, I met people on set that day that I have built built with and like do shows now with and are, are really good friends with mm -hmm. and i saw these creators creating in the corner like rose was like you stand there and you stand there you act stupid and you do it and she would like direct people and then have a funny ass skit for instagram in like a minute That's, i'm uh, like how did you do that I write a script. It takes me days. Then I go back and I scrap it and I rewrite it. And then I write it again. I'm like, this is stupid. And I kick my computer. And then I write it a third time. And then finally, I got to buy a new laptop. And I write it a fourth time. You know, like, and but she's that, there. The, but that kind of environment is what pushes you, right? Oh, I love it so much. What I makes you, so what builds you and right. it keeps pushing, like. Being that's amongst what, creatives, you know, right? Yeah, being no, creatives. creators. Yeah, being amongst creators is, is so big and so great because it inspires Whatever the hell, it, it enhances whatever the hell you trying to do. Exactly. To the best. Fix, you got something, uh -huh. it? There's nothing more fulfilling than seeing a fulfilled audience. Uh -huh. I, I, someone, I know someone that said that before. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know someone that said Yo, that before. Yo, you, 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 you touched it. You, touched it you know what I'm saying? Uh, it tickled, Toma. right? That's it deep. That is he deep, said, Toma. Yo, hold up. Did it get moist? Deep. Did it get moist? Toma. My oh, tear really? ducts, yes. Yes, your <laughs> eyes are all right, cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was deep right there. Yo, who man. said that? I know somebody who said that. Wow, That's that was a gem. Shit. Yo, you brought a gem out, man. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. <clears throat> when I can swallow the frog in my throat. <laughs> 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 
You know what? Don't even answer that. You know what I want right now? That's a deep. That's a deep phrase and thought. Wait, wait, wait. You, t- you taking it there? I think so. I think oh, it's time. Oh, shit. You serious? We're going to be the audience. Ooh. I think I think it's time for the people to see the show improve. Mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> From Raquel, Raquel. This we're going to laugh. Raquel, this Raquel. Gonna cry. Can we laugh about it? Because let me just set it, the expectation right. level, okay? <laughs> Where's the lowest that it could be? Zero? Let's put it there. What's the okay? funnest it'll be? Word. Set it up. That's there. where I want this to be. <laughs> Just to set. Okay. I'm on the Hip Hop Advocates podcast mm. show. And although I love hip hop and inside me. Show a pool town. Tell them no more. It's, it's coming. It's, it's Casanova. It's that room 28. Yeah, at the store buying bobo. Yeah. Pretty ass boy coming out my front right. door. Been living rent free for nine months Thank too long. Married to my honey and he inserted yes, my home. Yes, now did. we got a baby on the way, but things are hard. Oh. I'm a pretty queen, better treat me like I'm gold. I do my when I get the craving, better buy me bro, yo. Okay. Even in the morning, can't keep down my Cheerios. Right. I was born a Caden, raw dog is what oh. I chose. Now it's time to say that I'm about to fucking blow. Yes, My friends are mad tight, fuck maternity clothes. Sleeping uh, like a hibernating bear down on the floor. I need you, I don't need you, I need you. Make up your mind, my baby. I just left my mars, cash for cash for my baby, yeah. Yeah, was that like show? <laughs> Rachel La Loca style. Yo, 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 yo give, me, give me some love. Yo. I feel like when the gymnast comes off the like gymnast thing and like Bella Caroli's there to hug the gymnast <laughs> and they're all out of breath. It's like, how did you coach? Coach, how did you coach? How did you coach? Great. It's not what we did in the Olympic pre trials, but I did my best. It was hard landing. It was hard landing, coach. I have a sprained ankle, but I did it for you and for Czechoslovakia. I did it for Czechoslovakia. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, official though, it, it was fire, man. I just like to have fun. It's performing, you know, and um, there was a period of time we all dealt with, the whole world dealt with, the whole pandemic thing and everybody in quarantine mm. i feel like know. this is getting deep damn you from from performers to from spectators up. huh right yeah that was something that that was that that quote came from there i know Ooh. you know what i'm saying it was dealing yeah. with the whole pandemic and covid and all that and you being a performer to just not being able to perform anymore oh mm. that's tough that's tough it's tough that that's tough minute, that, that yeah. that's life that's life changing right there. You about think the about it. Yo. Okay. So here's where we were. Room 28 and I were in the Toronto Sketch Festival. Right. And we did a road trip. We rented a van. We rented an Airbnb. We smoked so much off that balcony in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like fun. It was, it was so great. We worked Good during time. the day. We had two shows. We were getting paid out there. They brought Latinos, Dominicans, Ricans to Toronto to perform. That's fire. Fire. And it was March 2020. And then we're driving back, and they were like, on the radio we are now closing the borders in canada COVID 19 and we were like yo first of all we didn't do it we didn't do it we might have left some corona bottles on the balcony but we didn't leave corona in toronto we didn't nor any stds or anything like that we didn't leave any of it not the latinos from new york so i joke but we heard that shit happening on the drive back to new york and i like I felt it in me. I was like, this is the last time I'm going to perform for a long time. You already knew? Damn, you had that feeling? Because the thing was already out. The news was out. People were already dying. They shut the borders. No more festivals. No more travel. No more LA. And then it all shut down. Broadway. Off Broadway, off off Broadway, Damn, what off was that? off yeah. off Broadway. My <laughs> backyard, that was good, man. my basement, my mirror, my mirror. All that shit shut down. All that shit shut down. The 
the bread and butter of my career at that point was live performing and hosting. Wow. It's just to put it in perspective. I was getting paid to host stuff, to perform. And then, like, here we are in 2022, and people started creeping back up and performing. And then I was just scared as a producer. It's so volatile right now. Mm. One day, one day we good, everybody's on Broadway sitting two seats apart, and the next day there's a new variant and Broadway, Broadway shut down. Yeah, like, that was, as yeah, a producer that was, of events, that that's, 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 a, that's an aneurysm waiting to happen. I don't wanna die young. You know what I mean? It's a butt clenching experience. Right and there. so, yeah, then there's that POV. But, so I got scared. And now, this comedy fundraiser that you guys are performing Ooh, at. Ooh! Let's go. Fuck my, Hurricane. Is, is, is my first. Fiona. I love the segue. It's my first time. It's my first time back. It's my first time back at the Triad Theater. It's my first time producing a live comedy show or co producing. Shout out to Miss Angelina. It's my first time doing a lot of things. It's my first time being a character on stage in a long time. Wow. Sounds like a lot of fun, though. Yeah, it's going to be litty. And the from, from performers to spectators was something that, if I may just talk about that, because I have to do it justice. It's such a project that's beyond something that you can see on PBS right now, streaming on PBS. But tell the viewers why, <laughs> why we're doing it from the jump. Like, what is it about? What's sure. the cause? So... I have a mentor in this game. His name is Theo Louis. I love him. He has been teaching me a lot. He forced me to write a one-woman show that made its way into a one-person show festival. So that was dope. <laughs> you need those people that like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You no need ching, that. Un you yeah, he kicked me in my ass. Okay. Uh, we, we, we rehearsed during the pandemic over Zoom. It was so hard. <laughs> oh my God. I swear, <laughs> I remember that week of rehearsing. I had post its, like, the, not the little ones, the big ones. I had to go to Staples and buy the big ones. And I was like, oh, act one, scene one, red light, <laughs> stage direction, mer. Act two, scene, th you know, because there's <laughs> math and shit and lighting <laughs> and blocking. <laughs> anyway, um, so, oh God, from, per so he suggest he, suggest that I be a part of this project, which was at the time not on PBS. Mm. At the time, it was just a project that Melissa Ramos was producing. She was like, yo, we need to document the fact that these live performers' lives, livelihoods, were all taken away, put on hold during the pandemic. Affected. It was hard for all of us, but it was really hard for those of us where it was our livelihood. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's, mm. that's I mean. literally went from like having shows and like putting it on my Instagram where to catch me. You just all well, stopped. Stopped. Completely. Nah, that's and hard. then I booked some virtual gigs, you know, like I hosted something for Twitter, which was awesome. But that was so awkward because when I came on stage, which was virtually everybody's emoji went up. No, everybody took themselves off camera or the majority of people. So I'm here live, I'm like, hey everybody, <laughs> try the veal, tip your waitress, you know? Like, yo, it was such yo, a tough crowd. But in a way, it, but in a way, it, but in a way, it taught you a lot, right? Uh, it yeah. taught you a lot, it taught you a lot, it, 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 oh, it brought crazy. you somewhere where you can um, challenge yourself. Mm. And, and ch I mean yeah. challenge yourself, not your, your what you're trying to do, just challenge yourself personal your mental self performing to mental nobody performing, yeah you know like the eggs because you know it, like you become an egg on twitter sometimes when you choose that i was like what are all these eggs like i feel like you know nobody's laughing i had to call out to people i was like yo, yo if you're real, i was man. like yo this if you're so laughing yo, was, if you laughing throw up the laughing emoji let me know if i'm making you laugh I'm like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, like, <laughs> my life has become 
I am used life to, has become. I used to be on stage like, yo, hearing people's <laughs> clapping, and that's the indicator of how exactly. are my jokes landing. Wow. Is my hosting good? Crazy. Like, yo, is my music good? Are people like, it. yeah? Am I, are, are people, are their cheeks hurting? I'm doing my job. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm seeing these eggs, and I'm like, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, yeah. everybody. All right, I'm here all week. Take good yo, care. Yo, this. <laughs> This episode of the Hip Hop Advocate Show is presentado por McDonald's. McRib is back, y'all. Pero esta es su despedida. Like an artist who keeps retiring over and over on the low for the record sales. No sabemos si en verdad se va para siempre. But it's time to celebrate this iconic sandwich. From his tangy barbecue sauce hasta sus pepinillos. No se olviden, grab yourself a whole load of napkins to eat your last McRib. Hmm, whether it's to wipe your tears or esa salsita de barbecue. Enjoy every single bite like it's your last McRib ever. The McRib farewell tour is happening now at your local Mickey D's. Festivals, football, flannels. Some say fall is their favorite time of year. And this fall, there are now updated COVID-19 booster shots designed to help protect against COVID-19 variants. If you've had your primary series, schedule an updated COVID-19 booster shot appointment as soon as you're eligible. And don't forget to enjoy the foliage. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Yo, this that time <laughs> is gonna is, that time oh. is gonna be a time for everyone in our lives to remember because we didn't know what the fuck to expect, what was coming. We didn't know what was gonna happen. Like we felt at, at that point, the whole world felt like Stop we it. didn't know where the fuck where we, we were going. We didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen after this. Yeah. And look, and look where we at now. Right. So if I may shout out the series. Mm, Absolutely. Big time. So it's called From Performers to Spectators. And they they featured a bunch of artists who were once live performers that had to pivot, reroute during the pandemic. Yeah. It was everybody from jazz performers, pianists to, you know, me, comedians, comedy performers. And we filmed it at the Pregones Theater in the Bronx which was also deep for me. I'm like, this is the first time I've been in a theater, albeit it was very representative of my current status where I was in a theater with no one in the audience. Wow. Just a cameraman, Melissa, and my security. That's I bring personal that, security yo, with man. me, especially to the Bronx, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, you know how it is. So, yeah, I got that. That's streaming right yeah. now on the PBS Arts Network, and it's so amazing. And at the time, I didn't think we'd be back. I'm so happy that the comedy fundraiser is the is the reentrance. Uh, I feel like I'm reentering the live performing atmosphere. It's hard because I'm so used to doing. I got my green screen at home. I got seven thousand. You got lights. jokes. You got jokes for that. All you gotta do is put me on. You host it, girl. Put She's you hosting. Stage you'll take care of the rest. She's hosting. She gonna get. She she gonna come with I'm some on, joke. On stage, I'm on autopilot. <laughs> we're 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 actually. Yo, we're so excited to be a part of this. <laughs> we're so thrilled. It's gonna be such an amazing time. Yeah. Definitely. On top of that, the fact of what we're doing, the cause, is so big and important to us because we're Dominican. You know Ooh. what I'm saying. Shout out to the Puerto Ricans. Shout out to real these Puerto Ricans. For real, you know. Hey, and, um, hey yo, que bonita bandera. We, we got family in, 
you know, we got family that live in Puerto Rico. We got my boy Manny, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Manny. He's in Puerto Rico. He's by the uh, Bacardi a factory or whatever. They'll meet Bacardi. He lives around there. I never did that tour. And that's such a tourist yeah. thing. When you go to Puerto yeah, Rico, no, you got to do the Bacardi tour. tour. I'm going to do it one day. But he well, you there. might throw up because Bacardi he, makes you throw up. He got um, <laughs> yeah. Gross. Bacardi gets you fucked up. That's what Bacardi was Bacardi vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got yeah. affected by the by the hurricane. He was like, yeah, he had no light. He had no electricity for a few real. days. Mm. It was real. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, Puerto Rico has been affected, you know what I'm saying, for the past couple of years you know where hurricanes yes yeah, uh, i seen some pictures of a community in dr we all see the videos on instagram this is what we could do the only thing i know how to really do well is to put comedy towards a cause because all the Any comedians cause. everybody i reached out to was like of course of course not for me i'm like don't do it i didn't say it i didn't have to say it, it goes without saying it's not for me. It's not for anybody who's on the bill. It's really for our community. Okay. They need us. The shit is fucked up still. So what could we do? And here's the other thing. Shout out to Miss Angelina. She's like, yo, we know the Red Cross is in place and all of that, but how we want to like affiliate ourselves with something that's going to go directly to the community the of the that, Instagram that, videos that, that, that we're that y'all seeing. Know, that y'all know. So that's really important. And this is not a thing we do it for money. And I'm also looking to, like, I sent Tommy a voice note. I'm like, yo, I am looking forward to this as if it were my quinceañera. Hey, like, we just... Diablo, <laughs> like, Diablo is just serious. I swear to Christ, ask him to play you the voice note. I'm like, I, we haven't been together doing this for a while. And I'm like, let's just bug out. We're going to do some Instagram live stuff, trivia. We're going to do a dance off. What the hell else? I don't know. Last time I was at the Triad Theater performing, no lie. Well, maybe not the last time, but the time before the last time. Shout out to Z-Way, who has her own show on Showtime. Z-Way was part of the hilarious show. Z-Way had people with their shirts off, twirling them in the air like a helicopter. Like this guy. And I'm like, what the hell? Petey Pablo style. I'm like, this girl's comedy has people taking their clothes off in a really hilarious hysterical fashion of course and we were all behind stage like what's happening out there so you had to see all these women this is such a visual i have of the hilarious show all the women we were a great visual okay z-way was doing her thing and she did a show about a song about melania trump and she had this thing where she did audience interaction forcefully you had no choice but to interact with z-way on stage that's just the power that she used com her comedy for. So she had the audience in the palm of her Z-Way hand. And we were like, what is going on out there? We heard people stomping on the floor. And we're backstage changing. The curtain's down. <laughs> the projector's down. So all of us, two of us started. And three of us, they were like, come here. Come here. Get your costume on and get down here. We were all belly down peeking underneath the curtain to see what the fuck Z-Way was doing with the audience. And she was performing her Where Is Melania Trump song and had everybody memorizing the entire song. She had men with their shirts off, twirling them above their heads. She had people on their feet. I've never seen something so powerful at the Triad Theater before, and it was at the Hilarious Show. And you know Z-Way. Z-Way was a writer on Jesus and Mero, and now has her own show Ooh, on Showtime. Congrats to Z-Way. Right? Damn. Fire. Fire up. That's, I saw it live. I saw the power live. So now that she's got her show, it's like, of course. And, of and, course. And getting the world to deserves to see this. That, what, you're, what you're coming up with, that show, uh, what is it? What are we calling it? Uh, Tormenta Telethon? Oh, yes. So we're getting to that. By the time this airs, we're going to have amazing footage of oh, that. Oh, yes, yes. And, hey, fellas, I think it's time to show that footage. Woo! Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Would you ever say to me that this gal over here, Miss Angelina, is some sort of bad Spanish-speaking bitch who carries a blade under her tongue? I would say... <laughs> oh, no, when it comes down to my job, every fucking week it gets angry. <laughs> A 
I feel kind of weird today. It's the first time in my life I put my hair in a ponytail. I'm not used to this shit. Thank you, I appreciate you. But I wasn't feeling like that this morning, so I asked my parents. You can always rely on your parents, you know? I asked my father, I was like, Bobby, what do you think of the ponytail? He was like, you look like you charged $300 for oil changes at Pet Boys. That shit looks crazy. <laughs> que nada yo quiero decir esto en español porque yo sé que mucha gente cree que los boricuas que nacieron aquí no saben cómo hablar español tú sabes qué yo estoy aquí para decirte que eso es la verdad it's a beautiful thing that we are all here I grew up in Jersey lived in New York City for many 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 years Talking about. <laughs> Whoa, uh, uh, they really can't see you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, you're an This is crazy. What's going on? So, so we decided to come up here and tell you guys some stories. How did you do it? Are you a sad woman? No, I'm kidding. But I went through a breakup during the pandemic. I don't know if we've all moved on, but I'm still healing. I found out my man was ugly. was amazing and we had an amazing time doing it we killed it we killed thank it. you for inviting us over there it was fucking fire yo it was so much fun you guys killed it <laughs> thank you <laughs> it was funny thank it was you funny. so much we had funny nice. moments we had funny moments. And, and may I say let, we gotta let the cat out the bag we have only performed at hip hop events this is the first time we perform at for the most part a comedy heavy event you guys, it's talent, right? Talent is talent. Comedy is a universal language, but mm. so is music. It yeah. is. So yeah. the bridge of that, take it to the bridge. Come on. Are you on. trying to toast? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm in toast stance. <laughs> but toast that's, I'm a hype woman, so hype woman. I'm always in toast stance. It's so toasty. With or without a drink. But salud. Mazel tov. <laughs> salud. And, 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 and fellas, something else that we can toast about, too, is that um, one of our former guests, uh, DNA, the other day he was on the BET Awards. Right? Oh, yo, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. BET. Amazing. Yeah. The, the BET Awards for last couple of years, they've been, they been lagging, right? Man. Mm. You, you, you don't even watch it. You're like, ah, we don't want to. We don't want to. But you know what? They represented heavy, though. No, but this year, this year, this year they had Fat Joe hosting. <clears throat> you know, Latinos. Uh, Latinos. Ooh. Bronx, New York. Real hip hop. He's Latino and black. He tell you, yo, Latinos are black. We are. You think about it, man. But that's a conspiracy theory. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> oh, shout out to Frank Spiracy. Frank Spiracy, I see you. <laughs> but as far as the the BET awards, yo, the ciphers. The ciphers. Uh, the fight. The uh, cyphers, but Griselda got a female. Power to the females. Uh -huh. yeah, Griselda got PP. a female. Rapid P power. On some shit. <laughs> She rapping on some Griselda shit. Yeah. And it's ill, you know what I'm saying? Armani Caesar. That's her name. Ah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's ill, though. I mean, you Sexy. know, the BT, the, the overall, the awards, though, 
you know, it's a, it was like half half. You know, they knew how to. They knew how to. Um, they had the half fasteners. No, no, they knew how to capture the audience. Oh. They the way they laid it out. It's very I political. Mean, I mean, look at look at look, right. look. I mean, the different shit they had. The 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 um the loud shit. The loud the loud performance. The loud, the loud, performance. That was the loud crazy. tribute. That tribute yeah. was crazy. They had the season artists go back in there and, and, and do their hits. That was, mm. that was fucking it was awesome. surprising they had that Prez come out. They were, they opened up, right? That they started. They honestly, started honestly, it. I it's thought I, when I saw ah, when I saw yeah. that press come on, I had no clue. I thought I'm like, yo, where the fuck is this going now? Because I was already watching it for like a good hour and a half. And Man. then when they before they started that segment, um, yo, when when that press came on though, I was like, yo, all right, where the fuck are they going with this? I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I didn't know this whole loud shit was about to crack open. That shit was probably talking mm. about seasoned artists. Mm. Wh- who was your favorite seasoned artist? Oh my god! Musical hip hop. Hip hop. What, what genre? Hip hop. Because guess Just what? Hip-hop. You know what my number one genre of music is on my playlist. You'll mm. never guess. When you work hip-hop. out, hip hop. Reggae. Oh. Nineties reggae. So, so, Shaba. Who's your, who's your, you know. Tell me, say one thing Nancy can understand. Nancy, Nancy. One Nancy. thing Nancy can Nancy. understand. Woman, Nancy. tell me talk for me ambition. That shit. Yeah. That's what I'm working out to. I just don't know what she says, right? But it sounds but, fucking hard. Uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, yo, when you hear Jamaicans talk, is it, you, you you can understand it. It's English, but it's yeah. just like Jamaican English. But, but it, picture the English, right? And I'm talking about uh, people from... Europe, the London, UK, and just picture it with a deeper <laughs> accent. That's Jamaicans right there for you. you can, if you. If you listen to Jamaicans talk, I mean, I, I mean, me personally, we used to work so with I could put words together, and you hear Jamaican talk. More fire. You know what I'm saying? And you More know, fire. Jamaicans. Not a mercy. So, well, Jamaican so talk. Yeah. Right. genre. What's so, the, like, musical? Well, I was thinking, like, uh, like 90s hip hop. You know, like fucking Wu Tang, Method Man, okay. Jay Z. That's, that's, that's a playlist too. That's a playlist too. Super that's Cat. Playlist you got Super too. Cat in your playlist, right? The original Dandara, of course. Ah. Of course. I just, okay. yo, okay, wait. I know I tell a lot of stories. Can I tell one more? <laughs> Give it Please, because it's yeah. relevant to this talk topic. It, I swear ahead. to God. Okay. Let's see if you have a few more stories in you. <laughs> I have so many stories in me. Okay. Wait, this one is relevant, though, and it has to do with the Don ah. Okay. So. Oh. I'm no worry. Okay. Wait. All right. So, um, I wanted to go to that reggae concert that was in February at Radio City Music Hall. Did you see the like promo for the reggae concert? 90s reggae. Yeah. Supercat was on the bill. Barrington Levy. Barrington uh, Levy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm black. Right. Oh, my God. I'm black. And mm, Shaka you know Demas and Flyers. Yo. You know, the, the performance of that just nigga. Dawn Penn, no, no, no. 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 She, all these greats were on the bill, and I'm like, please, is there someone no, out there no, that will buy a ticket and take me to this concert? Because I'm not paying, hun- you know what I mean? The people. Like, the- for my people. For people. the people. Yo, so she has swag. She came on stage looking like just royalty. Anyway, so lo and behold, I put it out in the universe. Nobody brought me a ticket. I took the L. But then it got canceled and rescheduled for later on. I was like, oh, maybe somebody will appear. A reggae god of some sort. And and by the way, Shaba was there. So crazy. Shaba ranks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ting a ling a ling, school bell a ring, all of that. Batman and Robin flying. You know what I'm saying? Trailer of girls. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin come through there flying. As big as them both. Always today, people don't understand how the, big okay, reggae you know, means. That yeah. '90s reggae scene was it's a big, big influence on them both too. So yeah. I'm gonna close it. Bow is reggae. It That's started from piece. reggae. Here's the closer. I'm gonna close it. So nobody want me to take it. Then I see a post from a film director friend of mine, and it said, "Concert producer in New York City looking for a producer and shooter to capture behind the scenes for a sizzle reel." And I'm like, oh, I have a lot of experience in doing sizzle reels. So I hit him up, and he was like, hit up this girl from the concert. Guess what fucking concert it was? The reggae concert. I got the job. I had all access. 
I met Shabba Ronks. Uh, I took Shabba. pictures with him and Super Cat. I was, yeah. And not only was I in the building, I was working my ass off. Mm. I mean, we had to get footage from the bleeders down to the front row, backstage. Shabba Ronk want to dive. Shabba Ronks want to dive into the audience at this concert. And I was like, Damn. let's go, let's go, let's go. And like the two of us were small. So we like got under the stage and we were like, let's go. You know, like getting the footage for the sizzle reel for the recap. And we did it. And then those same people hired me again. Shout out to Adam Torres Concerts because they hired me to do the sizzle reel for that. Mm. And also, again, marketing, rearing its ugly head in my life again. Mm. I'm like, you know, but I love it because anyway, and we were, I was in the building. You had to see me. This was me. I had like mad gear on my hip, a lens, a light. You know, my a little bag, water for the shooter, because he's carrying a heavy camera. And I'm just, like, doing the You're bogle the down the you, fucking thing. Like, it was the best time of my life. You were enjoying what you was doing right there. Was, you you always, I, mean, I was in the element. I was like, what you need, a lens? Hold on. <laughs> Damn the way, way. Heavy, heavy. Ooh, <laughs> yo, yo. It's great. It's Look, great. See, Universe. You that, so, so animated like that makes us fucking hype. <laughs> I we wish we were there something. too, damn it. I want to grind on something right Yo, now. Yo, and, and it was such a good concert. Slick Rick made us a surprise performance. Slick oh. Rick come out. I was backstage. I'm like, that's Slick Rick. Let's go. Let's Yo, go. Let's go. go. And then he comes up. Up. Yeah, he team came out. Go. I was Camera in the bathroom. Team go. Oh, shit. I'm going to fuck this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in the bathroom, and they were like, Slick Rick's going to do a surprise performance. Ooh. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And I'm like, you know, you got to go, go, go <laughs> to get it because you want it real time. You can't ask Slick Rick to do nah, that again. Hell no. We missed a little bit of it, you know? As long as, as, long, as long as you got Sorry. what you needed and yeah. made, made the best of it, that's what you need. It was such a dope concert. Uh-huh. It was such an amazing, the universe Shabba. works. A lot of greats. <laughs> you, 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 you were hand in hand with a lot of greats, with a lot of awesome people. And a rub. you were talking about a dope artist that we know personally. Well, and part of that show, the BT Awards, yeah. is uh, DNA uh. had a legendary rap battle. battle in front of the audience on stage live, which is something that they don't usually do in that circuit with the battle rap circuit. They usually do it, you know, they host it online and they do it live in front of a fucking audience. But in that kind of uh, stage, which is like an award show, is what made it even more big. That was against K-Shine, right? Yeah, K-Shine. Yeah, yeah. And he murdered that nigga. A corona, as a Corona nigga would. I mean, that's his mans. I mean, that's his mans. But as yeah, a Corona nigga would, that MCs bring it to the mic with regular nigga on site. Mm. You heard? Get it. Mm. And that's what my nigga DNA did. But, yo... Shout out to legendary D. shit right there, big for for the whole hip hop culture, which is what it's about, right? That's what the hip hop advocates is about. Hip hop, hip hop. We about hip hop. Rachel La Loga is hip hop. Yeah, so hip hop and so reggae. hip hop. It's all like and reggae. One, yeah, right? we went back to reggae, <laughs> but she's so hip hop. <laughs> True indeed. Bigger True than indeed. ever. So, so you got something? Uh, you got something in the chamber? I mean, what? Feel like you're building up to then that. the thing with dna is dna dropped the album you know he knocked it out the park with you know with his whole game that he did it was a package he dropped the album right there that Something show came out he dropped the album and he didn't drop a, a sleep but he dropped some shit that is worth checking out Ooh. the album of the week that he dropped which is uh what it what stage of life is this is the name of the album is the ep wow what stage of life for sure that's what he Love called the that name. Title. That's the name of the EP. How many tracks they got on there? I think it's um I counted six, right? Seven. It, 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 seven. It is seven. Intros. Yeah, intro. Cool, yeah. Cool, cool. Sometimes I, I I I miss a step, but I catch the beat when I need to. Any favorite joints that you that you like? I mean yeah. a couple. Any way the wind blows, forgotten man. Do you baby? See now, do you baby with rain? If y'all Ooh, heard it, right, and producer. you gonna check it out, I will. La Loca is gonna check it out. She gonna she gonna jump on track with the Abigas. And Rain is his producer, right? Rain is his producer. That beat, I don't like that beat, and I'm gonna say that. 
Yeah. Make it clear. Because it sounds like, and I, I, I don't like it, but they, f- I like the hook. I like Rain's hook, and I like the verses on it. But it's always like, right, with, with hip hop and certain music, you hear, right? You, 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 you take and you. It's subjective. You, you, yeah, exactly. You, you, you take and you subtract what you don't like. But you, if you listening to the whole shit overall, you're gonna dissect it as a whole. And the shit with that track, which I, I really like the hook and I like the verses. I got you. I got you. You know, but you. do you like the song? I like the song overall. Yeah, but it's right. a real Eminem ish beat. I fuck with if y'all hear it, if y'all really listen to it, I'm like, yo, who the fuck produces? But you think it'll be an Eminem beat though? And this is the way I heard it. Mom spaghetti. Mm-hmm. What is it? My arms yeah. are heavy. My arms are heavy. Mom <laughs> spaghetti. Uh. Fire. Man. I love the way you guys break it down. No, I get deep. This is like I get real the fucking writers deep. Writers room yeah, for the a, lyrics. A surgeon doing open heart when surgery. it comes to music, we get deep. We criticize each other. And that's that's one thing about us when it comes to creating music. Even if it's whack, we'll say it's whack once it's all done. Yeah. Right? You gotta lay down the track and hear it out for what it is. In your head it might sound great, but you don't know what the fuck it's gonna sound like until you actually do it. Do you understand the parallel that I can draw to that? Mm-hmm. Is that in comedy, sketch comedy specifically, we write a sketch. Mm-hmm. And in our head, it's fucking hysterical. It's crazy. In our head, it's Until like, you this actually... is the best shit ever. <laughs> 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 then we put it on his feet. And, you know, sometimes it is. And sometimes you're like, yeesh. <laughs> like, what it, was it's, I thinking? It took the voices to act it out and put it on its feet on a stage or at a rehearsal or what have you to be like, okay, I'm going to just do a revision and I'll do a V2. But writing is rewriting, as they say. That's where the artistry comes into play. Overall, with music, Fast. acting, yeah. anything. Mm. You don't know. It's in your head, <laughs> it's, it sounds and it feels and it looks a certain way. But until you actually see it in other people's eyes, which you don't know until you actually lay it down, yeah. that's when you actually can really analyze your own shit. Mm. You got to be your own best critique You're right? at the end of the day. Right? That's With anything you do. Man. Anything yeah. you do. But be also, your own best critique. But like also have that circle of people that you can trust mm-hmm. that you know will tell you the truth. Right? Like, tell me the truth. Nobody will ever tell me, like, I have those people that I depend on. They will never say to me, well, one person. <laughs> one person in that circle will say your shit is whack. But the rest of them will do it very eloquently and so I can build from it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? No, and that's, that's important. Those right? are the ones you want. That's important. That's important. You don't I want also need the one to tell me it's whack, though. I need, I need that person, too. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You know? I mean, how many times? Like, I, you know what? That's okay that you said that to me. That, that's fine. That's good. I kind of need you in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, our that's, guy right here. Okay, it's okay. He'll watch our episode it's and he'll okay. be like, yo, I cringed when you did this. <laughs> or I cringed when you said that. What did Drake say? I had... Somebody told me once I fell off. Oh, I needed that. Oh, yeah, 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 you need yeah, that yeah. sometimes. Ooh, you're bringing it to hip hop. Look at That's you. Big, well, man. look at you. Right. Okay. Once you have an open mind, man, your um, shit, your shit, your shit will is unlimitless. When you have an open mind, it's limitless. Unlimitless. Like that pill you take. That pill. Yeah, limitless. Yeah, limitless. Wait, what I'm pill? I'm making up my own words. I'm making <laughs> the purple pill? Because I've got acid reflux. What pill? Unlimitless. 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 Is limitless. So, for, uh, <laughs> to bring it back, this was a great fucking episode. Yeah. We had Rachel La Loca here. Yeah. Yay. Loca. Amazing episode, man. That's awesome. Thank La you, guys. Loca. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Rachel. Thank you for coming through. Do you have a last name? Okay, government. La loca. Government La loca. is so Jewish. La loca is the middle name. Rachel Strauss. Ah. It's so Jewish. Isn't that, isn't that the name, the same name from um that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> well, once you figure it out, man, we'll, we'll, we'll edit it in there, y'all. Fix, yeah. Take it away, brother. Let's let's wrap it up. <laughs> yo, yo, we had a great time. Rachel, she mm. crazy. Thank you. She crazy talented. Uh, she know what she's doing. That's the main thing. And and when someone knows what they're doing, and people call them crazy. They win in life. No. Uh, what? It's 
a rut, nigga. You heard? Hey, yo, take one, take one. This ain't for fake ones. The real recognize real, don't be a fake one. If you feel like I feel, you'll be a great one. Every day's living the movie. This is take one, take one, take one. This ain't for fake ones. The real recognize real, don't be a fake one. If you feel like I feel, you'll be a great one. Every day's living the movie. This is take one. Let's raise the glass to live in life, cause yo, the clock is ticking. They like music minimize the opposition But I'm moving with the unit, yo, we all connected Come and join the movement if you rockin' with it That's my proposition, I can promise all of our commitment The school of hard knocks, yes, we all attended How we moving the block, yeah, it's a lot different We pursuing the top while y'all non-existent This could be the last time you see the daylight Cause now you got the venom in your veins from the snake bite Increase heart rate, visions of your grave sight Sometimes the enemies are hide right in plain sight Fountain of youth is what they Search for to stay young Well I'ma live it up until my day comes I apply pressure on your neck Watch the blade cut Now show me what you do under stress What you made of Take one, take one This ain't for fake ones The real recognize real Don't be a fake one If you feel like I feel You'll be a great one Every day's living the movie This is take one, take one, take one This ain't for fake ones The real recognize real Don't be a fake one If you feel like I feel You'll be a great one Every day's living the movie See, we the most realest, paid in full like dope dealers Go to war, good fellas, if there's no missing Can't stop, won't stop, the game gon' be shifted Execute like Ethan Hunt, completing all missions Thought patterns are sick, twisted like ball Fiction I'm Vincent and Pop Weather, building drop gems like 5 percenters Blazing hot like rock and leather, pants in the summertime Better be ghosts like Jane St. Pat if you fuck with mine Turn the new school to Columbine, don't get out of line Use a dub inside, exterior screen thug where your mind tells you to run and hide when I'm coming like Omar, I go hard, I bogart, you got no heart Snakes lying to themselves, but I'm Molons Morons can't digest the proton Stay composing classics like Mozart The most smart spraying with Illmatic's that old hey, non Take one, take one, this ain't for fake ones The real recognize real, don't be a fake one If you feel like I feel, you'll be a great one Every day's living a movie This is take one, take one, take one This ain't for fake ones The real recognize real, don't be a fake one if you feel like I feel, you'll be a great one Every day's living a movie, this is take hey, one lights, camera, action What you asking is what we passing with a passion You asking questions, got the answers you need Man, school of hard knocks like a nigga with a degree My philosophy is grow from the alliance Working the track like an appliance Beat the science, higher releases out from the anatomy Casually working this shit like a factory This ain't a race, son, this is take one Take two that ass gonna be big buns Take a shovel yourself and dig your grave up I'm just saving the world from another fake one Y'all niggas frontin', showin' money on the screen That shit don't impress, y'all need another scheme Throw the fuck up, that's how we run it in Queens Pussy ass niggas ain't got shit on this regime Yo, take one, take one, this ain't for fake ones The real recognize real, don't be a fake one If you feel like I feel, you'll be a great one Every 